Well, hello everyone, this is Irma with my note cards, and today I wanted to show you a very special card that I made. This is a custom birthday card that was requested by me, and the person requested a Polynesian Hawaiian uh, theme for this special birthday card that uh, that they wanted me to make. So... This is the fancy bag that I created to put the card in, all right, and this is the card, all right. Now, I did uh, some research, and uh, I just wanted to explain how, not so much how I created the card, but just explain the different symbols and the different things that I incorporated in making this card. Now, as we know... In the South Pacific, in Hawaii, uh, the people, uh, there's a lot of beautiful plants, flowers, there's a lot of grass, um, there's beautiful beaches and sand. And I wanted to incorporate all of that into uh, the card. Now, this is what is called a trifold card, okay, or a gatefold card, because it opens up like a gate. And to keep it closed, I usually uh, create a belly band. But because I did not want the belly band to be sliding up and down and possibly, you know, uh, wearing away at these decorations that I created to put, you know, in front, uh, I decided to make a uh, little band that is closed and opened with this little rope. Now the rope has two little beads and this represents um, some of the jewelry and some of the um, apparel or uh, yeah jewelry I guess that you can say that a lot of the uh, people that I did the research on that they would wear around their neck usually maybe seashells but I didn't have any seashells to put through so I put uh, I created it with these two little beads. So let's just open this up. When you open this up, you can see that I used a form of, uh, I don't know, it's a, like a netting, like a, uh, like a straw, all right? Uh, this is special paper that I had gotten a while back, and finally I got to use it. We could see a beautiful turtle, a uh, seaweed, a sea, uh, a, a starfish, and of course, as we know, those islands have beautiful flowers, uh, and they're noted for their beautiful florals, so I decided to create two pretty flowers to put in. Now, as you open it, okay, you will see that I also continue to use my flower inspiration, okay? Uh, my flowers are on the sand, and I used sandpaper. I created my waves on my beach, okay, with a starfish and a uh, sand dollar. I also created... A little bit of a seashell here okay with a tiny little pearl here is where we will keep uh, empty or keep blank so that the recipient can write whatever birthday message she would like to um, express or give to the person that is receiving the card so that's it in a nutshell this goes back into my uh, my little belly band that really is more like a, a belt to keep it closed. All right. Now, because I cannot fit this in a regular envelope, this is why I created the bag. And then what I will do uh, to send it in the mail safe and sound I will put some protective bubble wrap, etc., etc., so that it will get there in one piece.
all right and because of the fringes over here we have to make sure that when it goes into the bag okay we're gonna have to do this very slowly okay so that it doesn't and if I do have a problems with getting this into the bag I might just take this and, and cut it out because I see now that it might cause cause me a problem let's see this has to I have to be really very careful I don't want to ruin this so that's it in a nutshell I'll take care of this after I finish filming but anyway so this is it just wanted to let you know that I am seriously considering having and making available in my Etsy shop these uh, customized one-of-a-kind birthday cards uh, if you are interested then all my information is down below uh, here on my YouTube channel and um, get on my waiting list and once I have launched uh, it on my Etsy shop I will shoot you an email and let you know okay thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you again next time bye bye